another day another story section 262 of ipc using government stamp known to have been before used whoever fraudulently or with intent to cause loss to the government uses for any purpose a stamp issued by government for the purpose of revenue which he knows to have been before used shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 2 years or with fine or with both section 263 of ipc a razor of mark denoting that stamp has been used whoever fraudulently or with intent to cause loss to government erases or removes from a stamp issued by government for the purpose of revenue any mark put or impressed upon such stamp for the purpose of denoting that the same has been used or knowingly has in his possession or sells or disposes of any such stamp from which such mark has been erased or removed or sells or disposes of any such stamp which he knows to have been used shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 3 years or with fine or with both section 263a of ipc prohibition of fictitious stamps 1 whoever a uh, makes knowingly utters deals in or sells any fictitious stamp or knowingly uses for any postal purpose any fictitious stamp or b has in his possession without lawful excuse any fictitious stamp or c makes or without lawful excuse has in his possession any die plate instrument or materials for making any fictitious stamp shall be punished with fine which may extend to 200 rupees 2 any such stamp die plate instrument or materials in the possession of any person for making any fictitious stamp may be seized and if seized shall be forfeited 3 in this section fictitious stamp means any stamp falsely purporting to be issued by government for the purpose of denoting a rate of postage or any facsimile or imitation or representation whether on paper or otherwise of any stamp issued by government for that purpose Four in this section and also in sections 255 to 263, both inclusive, the word government, when used in connection with or in reference to any stamp issued for the purpose of denoting a rate of postage, shall, notwithstanding anything in section 17, be deemed to include the person or persons authorized by law to administer executive government in any part of India and also in any part of Her Majesty's dominions or in any foreign country. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.